is narrowing. Warrington have fallen by the wayside. Who will join them then? Catalan Dragons are the Leeds Rhinos as Chris Kendall, the referee for tonight, gets the game under. The Dragons have gone for David Mead. Where's number one can play anywhere in the back Tompkins. division? Tompkins has broken the line. Rugby was warning about this. Well, Tompkins is away. Has he got the pace? The chase is on. They won't catch him. They won't catch the try scorer. But what a start it is for the Catalan Dragons. Tom Davis finishing off the break. Plays happen. And there would have been an awful lot of talk from the Leeds Rhinos about the back three for Catalan. How strong they are when they're returning the ball. Sam Tompkins gets through. Knows that he's got the speed to the outside him. And Tom Davis, that is the worst possible start. Casty almost capitalised, that's the fifth tackle and leads way down in their own territory but they're running it, they're running it, Reese Martin breaks, Martin breaks, he's got support on the inside from Gale, the first tackle is way high and the ball is lost. McAloran goes to the short side, little kick from Tompkins, the chase, the chase by Samisoni Lange, he got the ball down, is he onside, referee Chris the sideline. The no. Catalan Dragons have extended their early lead the here to, to turn the tables. Here is Robert Louis. Myler quick hands. And Briscoe looking for the corner, flings it back in, and it's into the hands of Mead. And Mead will counter. Mead will counter. Mead is quick. The chases are quick as well. Rhys Martin is after it. Yeah, yeah. Martin makes the tackle. Massive effort that from Rhys Martin to get back and stop the flyer. Tompkins and Catalan Dragons are struggling to keep up. Maloney puts the kick in. Tom Davis is chasing. Davis versus Hanley. And who gets there first? It's Hanley who wins the chase. It's Maloney. Who gets to it first? Well, Ash Hanley doesn't get anything on it. Eventually he does. Or does he? No, I, st I still don't think he gets the, no, the ball think down. I think Ash Hanley. Yeah, there's, a, there's a bit of a swipe at it. But he's facing his own try yeah. line, so that's no knock-on. There's a knock-on off Tom Davis as it hits his arm. Enterprise, enterprise from Catalan Dragons. He flies out the line, so maybe there's a little drop-off play on him. Gale lobs the pass wide. Another poor end to a set of six there. I'd like to see a bit more composure from Leeds. Luke Gale. He does have numbers outside him, he does have something. Jason Baitieri denying the hooker that leads that close. Leaming place of Pryor! Pryor goes for it and he caught the Catalan Dragons cold there. Stack of five, Rob. But no try. No try. Just just Chris the biggest dummy half that we've got in Super League this year. Look at the size of it. Cruz Leeming. Yeah, he uh, touches. The, yeah, yeah, just goes into him. Sam Tonkins, the man who's next to referees. No try. Matt Pryor denied Quickly. with the tackle. That's the fifth. His Gale. Gale goes high. Davis is underneath it. The ball is spilled and it's grounded. Was Myler in there? No, it was knocked on and it'll be Catalan's possession. And as you can see, turning the ball over in the right areas of the field. A real challenge thrown down to the Rhinos. Tonkins kicks. The ball is claimed by Falau. Has he got that down? Has Israel Falau got another try for the Dragons? Yes, he's yes, got up yes he has. He got up above everybody else. Whose kick was it? I reckon it was Tonkins. But the one thing you can predict is he will chase hard. When the this is... The determining factor, and when I saw it live, I he felt like it, it was a try. He, he is the go to man near the line, isn't he? He's so athletic, he's brave, he goes up, he catches them. He's a he's what is he, six foot four? And they are getting the field position because of the work that the, the forwards are doing. They kick that ball, Sam Tonkins places it into the ears of this Catalan side, and you see that. See you, Manaf and I not, not coming back on. That's a big, big loss for Richard Agar. <laughs> Look like, at that! Sa Cassiano has flattened. No, he goes in, he tries to hit him, oh. he just gets knocked out of the way. Come out, come here, please. You know, took the ball under your wing, run as hard as you can. Nothing. You got really the ability to match yeah. Catalan Dragons in size and power. You have to be smarter. There you go. He just catches, doesn't it? The bicep area, the outside edge of the arm. Nothing wrong with it. Well, Alex Sutcliffe can play second row centre. 
obviously he'll have to move into the back. Four tackles gone, this set of six. Cruz leaming. It goes from Gale to Myler and then Sutcliffe foot skirting inside. Here is Gale now. Gale has got some support and they have got the light line and Alex Sutcliffe gets the try that Leeds desperately needed. Half time, ball movement, precise passes and there's that drop off play. Liam Sutcliffe finds an offload and it's the captain and the guy that should control the tempo of the side, isn't it? Yeah, and then he's immediately looking. Oh! Me, the thing it is, has put that one down. Determination already revving up in his mind. He has to catch the ball, of course, first. The back three at most. By uh, Sam Cassiano. There is Dwyer. Dwyer's path to uh, Robert Louis and now Conrad Hurrell. Hurrell across the field, then straightens up. Still manages to get the pass away. Gale, they've got the numbers. Pryor's pass. They've got the try. And it's Liam Sutcliffe. Sutcliffe in at the corner, Leeds have got For Liam Sutcliffe and Matt Pryor, remember that ball he... I think it was to Tom Briscoe, a wonderful pass. And this is exactly what they need, the coaches will be excited. It seems to have been around for not longer than that, the pass a stretch for Gale. Myler gets the pass away to Liam Sutcliffe and Sutcliffe trying to stay on the island, he can't. And listen, what we can hear, they're right down below us, the jubilance among the Catalan players. Because you know that Falau is just going to try and hold him up, the sideline is his friend, it's Sutcliffe's enemy. And he's getting pushed, he's getting manhandled, there's four players then. Dragons battering Ram is barging its way up the middle of the field, but now they go wide to Davis. Davis, he's a strong runner as well, and he takes a couple oh, with him. Oh, and Myler is pitched him. How does that right in front of those posts? Myler directing operations there, keeping the Leeds defensive line alive. And Maloney loses the ball, and Briscoe picks up, and Leeds breathe a sigh of relief. I think that defensive set of six just keeps Leeds Rhinos in this game. It's what they do now with the ball. You can see Maloney just trying to get through that gap. Some strong defence from the Rhinos. Louis goes through. Oh, again. It's just forcing the issue. The ball away, and David Mead has picked it up, and Leeds will go in in the corner. Oh, for Leeds, that's a disaster. Catalan Dragons. Not just on the scoreboard, but in their own minds to the point where they believe that they're through in this game. Long way to go. Well, as soon as he gets this ball, David Mead is only going to be one win. Average is a try every other. At St Helens, well, at the moment it looks as though that's where they're going next week. Although the break from Dwyer has given Alex Sutcliffe the opportunity to run through the middle, but Davis, I think it is, who's uh, got a hold of him. Davis and Busquet. Leeds aren't done yet, on the last, they are running it once more. It's Liam Sutcliffe, and Sutcliffe back through the middle, gives it to Gale, Gale keeps it alive. Cameron Smith onto Pryor, acres of space, Pryor over the top, it's Conrad Hurrell, and Hurrell go in, Leeds are still alive, Leeds are still alive. Tipping the ball on to Rhys Martin, he throws that long ball out to Conrad Hurrell, bouncing back across the field, looking for support, offering themselves in a Leeds Rhinos jersey, pulling in and pulling those Catalan players out of position. You can see it, Israel Falau. Four tackles gone. McAlorum, Benjamin Garcia. The Dragons ever present this season. Chris Kendall calls held, the ball's lost, it's stolen. Now then, and he does have a great record in playoff rugby league as he kicks that one right down the middle for the Dragons. Twenty they have not been able to get Ash Handy into the game to the level that they'd like, would they? No, but here goes Sutcliffe though. And they had Richard Myler on his shot. Time running out now. And the Dragons, well there won't be much time for them to celebrate because it's back on the bus, back on the plane via Liverpool Airport. Last play of the game and ironically the ball is with Ash Hanley and Hanley with a run to the line maybe, gets the pass away and it ends up in Catalan hands and that in a way sums up the night for the Leeds Rhinos so many